Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Southbrook Common Council on this April the 24th, 2023, in the year of our Lord. Uh, it's 5.02, so we'll call our council meeting to order. We begin by prayer and pledge of allegiance. So if you all don't mind, we'll rise and I'll have prayer and then we'll say the pledge of allegiance. <clears throat> Father, we come before you today just to thank you for this amazing day. And uh, as we saw the sun rise this morning, as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, Father, it, it ran its course. And soon, Father, this day will be extinguished and go down into the history books. Many things have happened on this day today, Father. And for one, we had our Josh Stigdon father, whose grandfather passed away, and, and he's had a hard time today. So we pray for this. We pray for that family, Father. Just lift them up to you. I pray for your closeness and, your, and, and that they're reaching out to you as well. Father, we just thank you for the spring of life, Father. You're bringing this earth back to life again on this part of the earth. And uh, we just enjoy the, the dogwoods and the many flowers and the beauty that you create each day. And the picture of the sunrise each day. Father, we just bless you and we thank you for your goodness and your kindness. We pray, Father, for wisdom. We pray for discernment, Father, as you've chosen us to be able to represent Scottsboro. We thank you for the government we have. And I just pray your blessing upon each and every one of these, these gentlemen and, and, and Jan, Father, that, that uh, we, we just we serve you. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic Treasurer Jan Harvey. Mayor Amick. Here. Chris Albertson. Bill Hoagland. Rick Manns. Here. Christian Evans. Here. Chuck Rose. Here. Okay, thank you very much. Next thing we have is to approve the minutes of April the 10th, 2023. If you've read through them and you see no corrections, we'll take a motion to accept the message. I'll make that motion. Remains makes the motion. Is there a second? Awesome. Christian Evans seconds. Any kind of questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? You know, thank you very much. And the next thing we have on our agenda this evening is the public comment period. The Scottsburg City Council will accept public comments. Individuals wishing to address the council will be asked to come forward and state their name for the record. Each person will have five minutes to voice your, your opinion. Remarks should focus on issues and not be used to target city employees or elected officials. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to come for? One once, one twice, sold. So we'll go forward with that on new business. Our first part of the agenda this evening is Ordinance 2003 35 on public comment. Um, so this has been some discussion uh, in regard to this ordinance. Uh, about the accident and incident reports at our police department. Um, trying to pull up the ordinance in reference. Um, it is stated in the old ordinance, the 2003 ordinance, it had stated specifically on incidents, not accidents. Um, but upon further review, there is a separate ordinance, 2006-8, which does, in fact, uh, discuss the fee of $5 per record or report. Um, so which it actually states in here, including incident reports and accident reports. So I know there's been some discussion on this, um, but I, as far as tonight goes, um, if anyone has questions, we can further explain. But what I would actually like to do, um, I know Josh is not here, um, but I would like to uh, potentially amend this ordinance um, to reflect an accident rate of $10 instead of five dollars. Um, I know Dave has looked up some of the surrounding communities and then I think online the MyRec or whatever it's called online charges 12 mm -hmm. for accident reports. Um, so we're significantly lower on the accident side of things. Um, 
so it would be my recommendation um, to the council that we actually raise that um, and amend this ordinance as presented. Well, you know, and my comment is just simple. People, I mean, it was cheap. You know, I, I had to get one. I remember day, but it's been a few years ago. And when I only had to pay $5, I was like, really? <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I guess I, I, I'm like you. I, I, I think we probably should raise it. But for people that are, and this is just for me, I can only speak for myself, but when people were complaining about a $5 fee, I was just shocked. I mean, they obviously not looked at what you have to pay. And I, and I you know, I don't, I, that's just my opinion. You know, uh, I was in the vault, somebody hit me just recently in the state of Kentucky, and I had to pay $25 in that community. So I'm just. So Dave, I guess I should ask this question. If someone gets in a wreck in Clark County, okay, and Clark County charges 20, yeah. Can they come to Scottsburg and charge and you charge them five and yeah. the same court? No, we don't have access to that record. Okay. No. Okay. I think you have to get it from the community where you had the accident. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So and there's online options too available out there that they can get those. And that's the one you're saying is like twelve, if I recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twelve dollars online. And the money does go to our continued education fund that was being paid a, a lot of that money was coming from uh, handgun permits and we're no longer getting that. So it helps, it helps there too, that's where it goes. And BB2, the gun permits that used to be charged are no longer charged as of last year. Um, so there's no money as far as revenue stream coming in to help pay for continued education. So, um, you know, obviously hopefully no one gets in an accident, um, but therefore it's not gonna make a ton of difference you know, going from five to 10. Um, I just, you know, bringing this up, it's probably a good thing that regard to take a look at it. It's probably well overdue. Probably should have charged, changed it as soon as the gun permits, um, you know, fee was waived. But it might be a good time to do that. Obviously, keeping incident reports at five still, right? Um, but changing just the accident. Do we need to wait until Josh is here to do that, or do you think we can amend it now? I think we can. We can decide to amend it and, and ask him to draft the ordinance for approval. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, Mr. Mayor, would you mind reaching out to? Out and have it prepared for the next time because I'm okay. Can we vote on it now and then have him draft it upon amendment? We would, but I'd be all right making uh, do the first, you know, having a motion and, and have the first reading, and then once we have the ordinance in hand, then have second and third. Or we can wait and do the whole thing at one time, it doesn't matter. It doesn't but matter. I think we all agree that it needs to happen, so. Do first reading? Okay, I, 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 I'm just either way making that suggestion. I don't care. Might yeah. be good. You know, we, we only had three of us here tonight. Why, why don't we wait? And okay. We, I mean, if you guys are all right with that, that's you all right with that, Rick. I mean, oh this, yeah, I'm, this I'm, just, I'm fine with waiting. And, okay, but you know, and that gives the community if they want to make a comment, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It might be good if we instead of having all three readings in one night stretched out a couple meetings so that. We do have an opportunity for folks to right. come I, I have weigh no in if they want. Okay, good deal. Okay, so we'll leave. We'll just kind of put on the back burner ordinance 2003-35 until next time. And next we'll go to the street closings regarding the Mayberry Festival. So I think we have Miss Jill and we have uh, Eric here as well. So. Uh, I'm just asking for permission on June 24th from approximately 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. I uh, put a map in your packet. We're asking to close um, the square. I listed the roads there. And then we're asking to put food trucks along Railroad Street. And so we would like to close uh, Railroad Street from McLean to Wardell. Uh, we've talked to Willie. I met with Willie this week to ask about electricity. Um, we thought that would be a good place off of the square. Eric and I met with Main Street this week to make sure that they were okay with having the food trucks there. Um, we also kind of picked that road because even local people take that road and then they turn east on Wardell.
which is a one way and long way. So we just thought that'd be good for out of towners and shut that down right there around the square with all the people walking. Just those two areas, Railroad right Street and, and the square? Yes. Okay. For just that one day. Okay. Uh, will there be a motion then? I guess I guess there'll be a motion. And, and you, you talk with Scott about it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Police department's okay with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'd make a motion. We approve. Okay, Chuck Rowe makes a motion to go forward with closing those areas that was listed, Railroad Street, Plain to Wardell, and also close the square on uh, June the 24th. And, uh, and uh, uh, is there a second to that? I'll second. Appreciate having seconds. Questions, comments? And no, from CI? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I just would like to ask Eric, will, will you be the, the mayor of Mayberry that day? For the, yes, probably the promotional weekend. Okay, <laughs> well, will that be Mayor Stone or Mayor Pike? Well, so <laughs> technically, I play Mayor Pike, but I answer to whatever my <laughs> I've had people call me Otis, I've had them call me Floyd, I've had them call me Howard Sprague, so whatever makes the fans happy. That's a typical politician. In that exactly. And just for the record, I've been called a lot worse than any of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're and, good. and while we're speaking, let me give you a quick little tidbit. Our tickets for our ticketed events have been on sale now for about two and a half days. And we've already sold 17% of the available tickets for the whole weekend. Wow. And they've only been posted once. So we're, we'll be having a lot more posted of those. But, and uh, hotel rooms are full, filled up. I don't know what we, I, I've been told that we're getting close to 100 hotel rooms wow. sold for the event and all across all the hotels. So uh, the excitement continues to build. Good deal. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. Thank so you, guys. Much. Next, we have the fire department paving quotes. This is again, Ms. Jill. Yeah, you, if you all saw the email, I just wanted, it's just information for right now. Josh has not put that money aside, but just wanted you to see that I didn't make it out there. Um, there were two quotes on some of the sheets, and that was because the second section of the fire department in the back is not paved. That was not part of the first request from you all, but as I was out there, James just asked, since I was gonna have companies out there, would I go ahead and ask them to see how much that would cost? So that is why that second quote was on some of those. I think there's one company that did not quote it, but I wanna let you know that's why that was on there. So when it gets closer and Josh gets that money, then we'll discuss what we're gonna do. Any other questions? Hearing none, uh, what announcements do we have to see? So I, I do want to correct something. I looked at my bill, it was $20, not $25. <laughs> Carrollton, Kentucky, if you bid online, it's $20 to get your accident fee. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, somebody to call me on that, but yeah, it is $20. I'm sorry, I missed, I'm, I'm getting a little old, Mr. Murray. <laughs> What other announcements do we have? Anything else? Jill, Jim, do we have anything else? Okay. Hearing none, I guess we'll accept the motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Okay.